Have you ever wondered how to mix a song on the PreSonus Studio Live Series 3 mixer? Well, in this series, I'm gonna show you how to set it up and do a full mix. So let's get going. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a new year and I'm very excited about creating more videos for you to learn from. And in this small series, I'm gonna show you how to set up this Studio Live board to mix a song. So what I have here is a song in Reaper and I'm actually going to route all the tracks to individual faders and then show you how I would set up a decent mix on this board. And this is a great concept that you can apply to live mixing as well as mixing here in your studio. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take you over to the screen and then show you how we're gonna set this up. All right, so what we have here on the screen is some drums in blue, bass in red, guitars in green, horns in orange, background vocals in purple, and main vocal in yellow. And there are some gang vocals down here as well. So what we're gonna do is press Alt-R and that's going to bring up our routing matrix. And you can see that all of these are being sent to the master and we have all these outputs over here. Now the first group are stereo and the second group are the mono. So some of these things are going to be stereo and some are going to be mono, but we're going to take care of that on the board. So I'm primarily going to concentrate just on this section over here. So I want my kick drum to be on channel one and snare on two. Let's do overheads on three and four. And that's going to take care of my first four tracks. And let's actually leave the room mics till last. So let's put the toms on five and six. And we'll actually put these side rooms on seven and eight, since those can be stereo linked. Then we'll put the mid room on nine. The bass parts in this song have some dirt and some clean. I'm not too worried about having each one of those tracks on a separate fader on the pre -sonus. So what we're gonna do is just gonna send the whole bass group to channel 10. So I'm basically going to pre-mix it in the box and then I'll just send out that group to one fader. The guitar group has a cab and a room for each part and there are four different parts. So I think what I'm going to do for this is just put one guitar part on 11, second guitar part on 12, and this is the guitar group for each one of those, and then another guitar part on 13, and the last guitar part on 14. And now we do have a horns group, okay? So I'm not too concerned about sending each one of these individual tracks just like the bass or the guitars. So we do have a trumpet group and we have a sax group. So I'm gonna have those trumpets be on 16. Actually, let's have them be on 15. That makes sense. And let's actually make these stereo. So we're gonna have these be on 15 and 16. And then the saxophone is gonna be on 17 and 18. All right, and the odd groups are getting the stereo link. So one and two are linked together, three and four, five and six, and so on. So that's why it makes sense to have these be on 15 and 16 and 17 and 18. Now the background vocals, we have a little oh yeah part in here. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and have this be 19 and 20. And then the background outro is going to be 21 and 22 and i don't really see anything for a chorus background vocal what is that okay there is something there they just weren't labeled so what i'll do for these i'll do 23 and 24 and that pretty much takes care of the first 24 tracks so what we're going to do now is i'll go ahead and make the gang vocal uh 25 and 26 we'll put the stem vocal on 27. So we've essentially routed all these tracks out to a fader on the board. So now what we have to do on the board is this. We're gonna select the first channel and choose USB instead of analog. We're gonna do that for all these tracks. Okay, we're gonna scroll over to the next one. USB, USB, these are already USB. 
Okay, 27 should be my vocal, and then we shouldn't need any more after that. Okay, so you can see on this board, we actually have 32 channels to work with. And then we have our effects returns and our extra inputs on the back. So we really have 32 channels on the board. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, so channel one is kick. So I'm gonna actually rename this. So you do that by just selecting the track Okay, you're going to hit the little spin wheel up here. And we're going to hit the X and just say kick. I'm going to misspell a lot of these things, so not a huge deal. SN for snare. And then we're going to do OH left. And then we're going to do OH right. And I don't really have a hi-hat, so channel five was the high tom and then channel six was the low tom. Okay, so you can see how the tracks line up right here. Seven is gonna be side room. So we're gonna say S, R, left, and then S, R, right. And then number nine is gonna be our mid room. Okay, so what happens if I end up playing the song right here? Okay, check this out. All right, so here's kick, snare, overheads, Toms, side rooms, and mid room. All right, so, so far pretty cool. All right, let's go back over to our screen and we're gonna keep assigning tracks here. So number 10 is the bass. All right, 11, this is gonna be W, G, T, R, one. All right, 12 is W, G, T, R, two. All right, so what I just did there was I made mix one and two a drum submix, all right? And then what you do from there is you just go to your main mix, choose your channel, and choose the subgroup. Then you just assign it to whatever subgroup you want, okay? You have sub A through D. Then you also have eight stereo pairs that you can use for your subgroups. So mix one and two is my drum group. And I also don't want those original channels being in the main. So you can see if I go back to my main mix and select the kick, it is out of the main, but it is going to the subgroup. 
So that's why when I first added those tracks to the subgroup, it was getting a little bit louder because they were going to the subgroup and also to the main at the same time. So let's add the bass to its own submix. So what we're gonna do is press the bass and then we're gonna take it out of the main. We're gonna put this in mix three. We're gonna link it up, hit the tog wheel, make it a subgroup. Okay, and let's rename this one. All right, so now, if I go back to my main mix, hit the bass, subgroup, put that in the bass group, and it is out of the main, all right? So now if I hit the mix effects masters, we can see that we have a drums subgroup and now we have a bass subgroup, okay? So what's really cool is I can get my faders set right here on the board how I want. And then when I hit my mix effects masters, I can control the drums and the bass just with a few faders and not have to worry about changing all the faders all at once. All right, so let's go ahead and hit play on this. All right, I think that is really fun. And that's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you'll be notified every time I release new content. And in the meantime, I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.